back uh, to that conversation and uh, give you an opportunity to tell the committee uh, how many Americans uh, you are collecting their financial uh, data. How many Americans do we have that you collect on? So again, and, and I've, I've tried to give this uh, answer several different times. I'm, well, I'm, I'm looking for a number. How many Americans? Okay. It, that's not the way the question can, can well, be I'm answered. Let me, let, so me, let, me, let me try to, do you want me to try to answer it? Do you have a number? Okay. Do you have a number? Three different bu buckets of pieces. There's right. consumer complaint data, a couple hundred thousand. So, so I'm going to bring you directly to the supervisory capacity. Okay. How many Americans do you collect on there? Okay. We don't collect directly from any Americans' supervisory capacity. So we go to institutions and we work with the institutions to understand how they're affecting okay. their so how many customers. How many institutions collect from America? How many Americans are collected for you through these third parties? Okay. So we oversee approximately 110 large banks and a few credit unions with assets of 10 billion or more. So how many they Americans? have significant Mr. customer Cordray, base. How many Americans? That's my question for you. Give me well, an answer. That, that's, that's not the way the work is done, sir. Okay, I mean, well, it's, it's like asking me, uh, you know, what color is, is this song? Well, it's just not quite the same thing. So, well, let's uh, go to, uh, we'll go to credit cards. We won't talk about your song. Let's go to credit cards. How many, how many actual credit cards are you collecting on Americans? Credit card data. Okay. Credit card information. So, uh, three different ways. One would be they may come to us with a consumer complaint. That would, and it I'm may be about credit cards. Mr. That would Cordray, be one. I, listen, I, I, I think America wants to know a number of how many you're collecting, and you're giving me a lot of explanation, but I want an answer of how many credit cards does the CFPB collect data on? Okay. We don't collect any data from individuals about their credit card accounts other than those who come to our consumer response functions. What we do is we go to credit card issuers whom we're required to oversee and make sure they're complying with the law and we need to look at their, at their uh, institutions and their practices to see if they are complying with the law. And by the way, some of them have not been and we've gotten back do you monitor credit million card accounts? dollars to Do you monitor credit consumers. card accounts? Do you, do you monitor through your agency or any of your uh, okay. third-party contractors yeah. any credit and card accounts? And that's the third bucket, okay? So consumer complaints, supervision, and then market monitoring. On the market monitoring, as, as we have indicated before, and, and uh, Mr. Uh, Antonek has indicated to you, we are gathering sample data well, Mr. on the Cordy, credit I'm gonna, card I'm market. I'm going to my time for a second. Yes. Uh, Mr. Uh, Antonekis uh, was asked these questions. Mm -hmm. In Senate banking, you were asked these questions. Mm -hmm. And you come today ill-prepared to give us numbers on the number of Americans that have their financial transactions and data collected by the CFPB. So what I'm and fully no, no, prepared I'm, to I'm, do I'm, I'm is to give time. you explanation and, of how and, these and programs what, and work. What I think America and deserves is the transparency that you promised. Okay. And so you're again, not giving us that transparency. Again, what we're, so what we're delivering for consumers on credit an cards so is enforcement actions me protecting the, 6 the million Americans of the banks or the financial and institutions oversight of the for market. Which you the time belongs to the gentleman of Wisconsin. You're not going to give me a direct number. I'm fine with that. Okay. Stonewall me. Let's talk about financial institutions. Will you give me the names of the financial institutions for which you collect financial data on Americans? Will you give me those names? Okay. Yes we're, or no? What we're collecting is, uh, your, your question, I just need to correct the premise of the question. Will you give we're me collecting the data on how those institutions sure. comply with the law, and they haven't always Will complied with the, the law. Will you give me the names of those banks? All right. There Will are 110 the large institutions. I'm going to reclaim my time. You want to answer my question? Card issuers. The claim for transparency, so, Mr. Director, I'm sorry. Uh, isn't being met. And I'm so let me just say, the, I'm going to ask you this. <laughs> the American people don't know what the CFPB is doing. And uh, if you look at another agency, it's called the NSA. And they collect information about Americans' phone records. America has said, I'm all right with my phone company having information about my phone records. But man, am I outraged when the federal government takes that information from me. And you're here to protect consumers, and you're taking this financial data that they've said it's okay for their financial uh, institution to have, and you're taking it, and you're not giving them any transparency about the information you're taking, how much you're taking, from who you're taking it from. And that's incredibly frustrating. Why don't you just level with us? We've asked you these questions over and over and over again, and you come in and you stonewall, you try to explain, but never do we get answers, never does America get answers. Look, Give I understand an that you, you want to make a speech, and I appreciate that, I but want there's answers. no comparison between the NSA and the CFPB. Oh, there is. It's a false comparison. Oh, no, there is. We're doing work to protect you have consumers. Numbers for me? Six you have million numbers consumers for me? have benefited do from you the have numbers work for me? we're doing. Many Names more of banks. will benefit from Names it. of banks or numbers of consumers who have their data collected. Do you have those numbers or those names? 
There are 110 oh, banks. Okay, I can I can name well, a number of them. You want to give me wish. them? Okay, we're looking at credit card matters at give the name. Morgan Chase. We're looking at credit card matters at Bank of America. We're looking at credit card matters at Capital One. We're looking at ca credit card matters right. at Discover, American Express. All of so the big now American knows every single one of those them. are the greatest. And we're going to make sure they're the complying with the law. And the American the time, the time, the time the CFPB. of the gentleman has expired. Chair now recognizes the gentleman from Minnesota, Mr. Ellison. Thank you, Director Cordray, and uh, congratulations on your confirmation. Thank you. And uh, thank you also uh, on behalf of so many uh, Americans who have benefited from the good work of your agency. I believe there's a total of $432 million being directly refunded to more than 6 million consumers because of your work. So you've had to endure criticism regarding data and uh, I think questions that people want answered. But I think to the six million people who you help get refunds, they're pretty happy about the work you're, you're doing. So many proclamations named, made in the name of Americans. Those six million are Americans too. For example, the members of the United States military who were refunded about 6.5